start the conversation. Upset, complaint, opinion, call me. Oh, no, that didn't just happen. Gerard McClendon Live starts now. Yes, yes, Gerard McClendon Live starts now. You know what? Are professional athletes worth their salt? If you haven't won a World Series in, uh, let's say, a century, should you really be getting paid as much as other players around the league? What about Chicago Cub players? Are they getting paid to get booed or paid to win games? Just ask Milton Bradley. Grown men getting paid millions of dollars to play kids' games. I want to know what you think, Chicago. Give me a call, 877-358-CLTV, for whining, not winning, in Wrigley. Joining us now from WGN Newsroom is WGN sports reporter and anchor Rich King. And at the Tribune Tower is the young gun, WGN 720 AM sports reporter Mark Carmen. Gentlemen, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate you. You know what? Let's get right into Milton Bradley. He makes his apology to Major League Baseball, the Cubs, and the fans. Cubs GM says, we're done. Is Milton Bradley a non-Cub or the anti-Cub? Let me first start with you, Rich. Talk to me. Gerard, I think he's gone. I don't think they'll be back with the Cubs next year. I think it's a matter of just uh, making a deal. It's going to be tough making a deal because the man still has $10 million a year. So we'll see what they can do. They'll wind up paying, of course, for most of his contract, I would assume, to dump him off. So it's a big mistake to get him. But you know what? When he was, was acquired here, the day he was acquired, I covered the news conference, and we all sat down and watched him say he's a new man. And uh, Jim Hendry said he checked him out. All of his teammates liked him, and he got along with people. Of course, he had a couple of incidents they said in the past. That was a thing of the past. You never quite know in any sport, and it was obviously in hindsight it's a mistake. But at the news conference, I didn't see many people <laughs> saying it was a mistake, in yeah. the media anyway. So let's just see what happens with Milton Bradley. But yeah, he, he wore his welcome here, no question about it. Yeah, you know, Mark, Rich says you never quite know when you hire a baseball player. Talk to me. Jim Hendry's decision, Mark, should we just let this guy go, let bygones be bygones, or should we make amends and, hey, keep him around for the full $30 million contract, well, Mark? I don't think there's any amends to be made here, Gerard. And I mean, you say you don't know what you're getting. I think we knew what we were getting with Milton Bradley, or at least we should have known. I mean, this guy's been through the entire Major League Baseball, seven teams in eight years, I believe. So at this point, Jim Hendry made the right move. You've got to cut the cord, eat the 21 million or whatever it takes to get him out of here. Nobody in that clubhouse ever wants to see him again in a Cub uniform. Maybe Milton possibly wants to be back, but I don't think he does. So. Let's send him wherever someone will take him and uh, try to fill that slot with someone else next year. Yeah, bad blood in the dugout at Wrigley Field. You know, Rich, pro athletes and booing fans, should an athlete complain to reporters about this? I mean, you know, so the fans are booing at you. Hey, they may throw a few racial epithets at you. Should you complain to reporters about that? Well, the racial epithets are out of line by the fans or anybody else, as you well know. But uh, as far as the booing is concerned, uh, yeah, I mean, you're fair game when you're out there, especially if you have a bad season. It's happened since day one in sports. It'll be happening long before we're all gone. So, yeah, you're, you're out there, and you're, if you're performing poorly, the fans pay the money. They have a right to boo. But racially, no, I think, think fans should be called on the carpet for that. I hope other fans would get on their case. Yeah. Uh, security get involved. That's way out of line. So, I mean, or any personal attack of that, in that nature is way out of line by the fans. You know what, Rich, a follow-up, and then I'm going to go to Mark. Rich, what do you say to a guy in the dugout that's just not producing? I mean, do you pat him on the back? Do you buy him, you know, peppermints? What do you do? <laughs> well, when you're paying him $10 million a year, you give him a lot of rope. <laughs> That's what the Cubs gave Milton Bradley. Obviously, he was a key to their future this year. You know, the Dodgers eat the Cubs alive last year with the lack of a left-hand bat. Bradley, you forget, hit 321 last year. Had a great year. And he, and, and on paper, looked like a great pickup. Yeah. But, of course, on paper, things go askew, and that, that's what happens with the Cubs this year. But I, if you're, his teammates held in there a long, long time. Derek Lee supported him. Ramirez supported him. The other guys did. But then at the end, when it got out of hand and it became too negative, then they bailed also on him, which is very telling. It's very, very rare that you see players bail out on a teammate, and they bailed out on yeah. Milton Bradley. Yeah, they certainly did. You know, Mark, Rich says you give him a lot of rope. You know, $30 million, come on, doesn't he deserve another chance? What do you say to the guy in the dugout, Mark, if he's not producing? <laughs> I mean, when I was playing on the freshman B level, I always preferred peppermints. But this is this is this is the this is Major League Baseball. You, there's no more rope. You've gotten your chance. You've gotten your money. You're not doing it. Put somebody else out there. They should try that in left field too, by the way. And he's a good guy in left, right field. A little bit of a different story. Those are not the same type of player, obviously. But 
I, I think with, with Milton, I mean, Lou tried giving him rope. He tried getting in his face. He tried everything you could possibly try with the guy supporting him when he's acting like a complete goof. Yeah. I, I don't think Lou, you can't put this on Lou. It's not fair. You know, yeah. also, Gerard, keep in mind also, we're talking about Milton Bradley, but he's not the only reason the Cubs didn't have a good year. Ramirez was hurt. You had, uh, Soto had a horrible year after a great rookie year. Dempster fell off. Zambrano fell off big time. Bunch of injuries on the club. Not to make excuses for injuries, but a lot of guys had down year. So Milton Bradley, only one thing that went wrong was a big thing, no doubt about it. Mm. Only one of the many things that happened to the Cubs this year is they continue to be dogged by lousy luck and injuries <laughs> after 102 years. Yeah. Hey, Rich King, Mark Carmen, you guys hold tight. I'm going to keep you through one more segment. We're going to talk about are these athletes overpaid after the break? You know you want to call me Chicago. You got to vent on these pro athletes. Are they worth the ticket price, the TV rights, the five-star treatment, or should they be guaranteed the big money regardless of their performance? Call me, 877-358-CLTV. Is Milton Bradley a board game? or a baseball player. Gerard McClendon live back in two minutes. Welcome back to Gerard McClendon Live. Pro athletes, should they get paid based on batting averages and defense or past accomplishments? The saga of Milton Bradley continues whining instead of winning in Wrigley Field. Give me a call, 877-358-CLTV. I've got the one and only. I've got Rich King with me. I also have Mark Carmen with me. Gentlemen, let's get right into this before I go to phone calls. I'm going to go to you first, Mark. Are these players getting paid way too much money? Talk to me. Well, you got 3 million people in Wrigley Field this year, 40,000 every day paying 100 bucks a ticket down low, 30 bucks a ticket up top. I mean, I'm sorry. They're not paying that to go see somebody teach a science class. This is the world that we live in. It's not right, but this is how it is. So I'm going to say no. It's the most exclusive country club on the planet. Those who make it there. We've all played sports. We all want to be out there, but yeah. these are the ones that made it. Whatever the market will bear. Rich King, hey, are they overpaid? Talk right, to I, got, me. I got one question for you. <laughs> if somebody paid you $10 million to do this show, would you take it? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, there's... sir. Hey, Rich, how do, how do you know I'm not already making that? Hey, fellas, <laughs> let me go to phones. I'm going to go to Rich first. Rich, thanks for calling GML. What's your comment rich hi rich what's your comment uh my comment is they're over they're overpaying the guy and he was trouble before they got him so they knew what they were getting into i would just cut him because once the apple's bad and the core is just bad mm -hmm. i would just get rid of him hey rich thanks for the call let me go to john next thanks for calling gerard mcclendon live john what's your comment hi john. Yes, um gerard if they had a picture that was throwing pitches that nobody could buff, nobody can hit, nobody could even see the ball. And he get paid, you know, just all them out. But these are just average players. There's no superstar. What's super about Carlos Santana having pitch knocking over the Gatorade cooler, <laughs> tripping things in the dugout? Where's their sportsmanship in there? Wrigley Field, you could fill that ballpark with a high school baseball team, and those suckers would still come out of Wrigley Field just because it's the friendly time fines. Hey, John, thanks for the call. I appreciate you. Rich, you want to respond to that? Carlos Zambrano going on tirades. What do you think, Rich? Well, you know, it's uh, really adolescent behavior about Carlos a lot of times. Obviously, he's, uh, he's had a poor year, and you wonder, you wonder about his future now from here on out. His body's not the uh, most succinct body, so to speak. But he, uh, you know, the whole team uh, suffered this year. You know, Bradley, yeah, he doesn't deserve the money, but they pay him the money. So what's the yeah. other thing? No, I mean, uh, a lot of people, it, 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 it's the market. The market bears what it has. You know, if the, yeah. if the, if the money's there, sports is supported by television, fans, uh, internet, everything now. There's big yeah. money in sports, and yeah. the money's filtered down to the players thanks to a very successful union that they had. Mm. Marvin Miller started about 40 years ago. So all these things combined have made the baseball union very strong and the, the salary level very high. And until you have the uh, uh, fans not going, people not watching on TV, people not buying hats, then you can see the prices go down. You know, thank God for that Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire year, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Mark, talk to me. It looks like you and Rich are almost equal in terms of the opinion when it comes to whatever the market will bear. Mark, 
let's talk about prorated though, man. I mean, let's say you're batting 257. Ah, with 40 RBIs and 12 homers. Come on now, Mark. Hey, well, you got to jump into that collective bargaining <laughs> agreement, play that Donald Fear role. I, I don't think the players are going to go for that. In the NFL, though, you've got you can be cut, and they got to eat the money. They can get out from under you a little bit. So there is the precedent for that. But baseball, I mean, the players, you'll have another strike before you get what you're talking about, Gerard. That yeah. just that ain't going to happen. I hear you, man. Let me go to Facebook. Jeremy says, yes, pro athletes should get reduced pay if they don't want to or if they don't choose to perform. Milton Bradley, a big question mark. Terrence says, we may not like their behavior, but the key word, Gerard, is contract. Let me go to Scott. Scott, thanks for calling GML. Scott, what's your comment? Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. You know, it, I really would like to see Major League Baseball have a performance-based package with, and have a minimum cap on how much money, on guaranteed money. Okay. With that being said, you take a look at Milton Bradley. We had two other ball players out that wanted to come to the Cubs, Bobby Abreu, and um, uh, who's the other guy? Raul Ibanez, both for half the money having stellar years. Um, you know, his track record speaks for itself, and we chose to overlook that on false promises. And it's yeah. really a shame because, what, 10 teams in seven years? Yeah. I yeah. mean, realistically, what did you think you were going to get? And he duped us all. Jim Hendry, I hate to say it, guy's done amazing things with the ball club. I don't know, does, it, does his head fall on the hook? I, I don't think Lou wow. Vanilla does. Milton Bradley. Pandora's box. Scott, thanks for the phone call. Let me go to you first, Mark, then I'm coming back to you, Rich. Mark, I'm going to keep needling you on this. Talk to me. Okay, let's say that Rich, Mark, Gerard signed $10 million contracts this year, all right? Fine and dandy. Whether we perform or not, we get the 10 mil. Mark, what do you think about this, though? Let's say you don't perform. Do you think some of that money should go back, reimbursed to the Cubs? That's a big time statement. What happens if I'm making 500,000 and I go out and hit 50 bombs? Are they going to pay me more at the end of the year, Gerard? I don't think they are. <laughs> Rich, what do you think, Rich? Oh, he's right. The things don't work that way in the real world. Uh, you know, years ago, baseball tried to get a handle on things. Jerry Reinsdorf especially did a great job in trying to keep prices down uh, for fans by keeping the uh, salaries down. Didn't work out. He had two or three commissioners go against him. Uh, portrayed as the bad guy when he wasn't. And that's what happens. And you got the salaries now. You got high, high money. And you're going to have that for a long time unless you have a strike. Uh, if they try to break the union and have a strike, then they'll, they'll may have some progress in getting the salaries down. But I don't see that in the near future because the money is still there. Fans are still supporting the sport. Yeah, Rich King, WGN TV, Mark Carmen, WGN Radio. Gentlemen, thanks for being on Gerard McClendon Live tonight. I appreciate you. You guys have a good evening now. Thank thanks, you. Gerard. All right. Are mediocre pro athletes worth the big contracts, the glam and lodging at the Four Seasons, or should they be guaranteed the big money regardless of their performance? Would you mind getting booed for 30 million a year? Milton Bradley, board game or Chicago Cub? Call me now, 877-358-CLTV. Gerard McClendon Live, back in two minutes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. The best offense is defense, but if your offense is batting 257, hey, forfeit the $30 million, apologize to the fans, and beg for another chance. Welcome back to Gerard McClendon Live. Are pro athletes overpaid? Should they whine when their performances are lacking? Call me, 877-358-CLTV. I'm going to go straight to phones as we talk about Milton Bradley becoming an ex-Cub, possibly. Let me go to Augie first. Augie, thanks for calling GML. What's your comment, Augie? Gerard, you're the man. Thank you. I think the athletes today are way overpaid. Bradley's got to go. Henry's got to go. Hmm. Just imagine what we would have had to pay Roberto Clemente. Ooh. Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle. Now, those were ball players. These guys today cannot carry the spikes of the old timers. That's right. That's right. I believe that. Hey, Augie, let me ask you this. Why does Jim Hendry have to go? Well, Jim Hendry's the guy that, first of all, he signed Soriano. His whole history is that he's a streak hitter in the regular season and he can't hit in the playoffs. Ooh. 
Ooh. Fukudome, I don't know why they paid him all this money. He's got two seasons at 260, hmm. and Bradley's been a head case wherever he's been. Wow. Hey, Augie, thanks for the call, man. We appreciate you. Looks like the verdict is almost in. Let me go to some more phone calls. I'm going to go to Gregory next. Gregory, thanks for calling GML. What do you think about these salaries? What do you think about Milton Bradley? Well, first of all, I think that uh, signing a mediocre ball player without doing a proper evaluation on him it's a bad thing. And if you compare teams that have been consistent in the playoffs, like you can take the St. Louis Cardinals and the Boston Red Sox, mm. some of this big money salary that they're paying to lucrative, I mean to mediocre ball players, should be spent within the team's minor system, mm. minor league system. And if you're going to rebuild through mediocrity, your team is all, it's going to be nothing but a mediocre ball team. Wow. Wow. Man, Gregory, thanks for the call, man. I'm loving the point of view that you just had, the analogy that you use as well. Let me go to Bobby next. Bobby, Milton Bradley, Jim Hendry, the Chicago Cubs, talk to me. Overpaid, what's on your mind? Hey, Bobby, what's on your mind? Hey, what's on my mind? They could have, okay, now I could say you the man. Mm -hmm. For one, they could have kept Sammy Sosa with the court bat. <laughs> because for one, Sammy Sosa is, he do Sammy Sosa is doing his thing. He was hitting home runs. His his average was two two eighty nine, and he was hitting over forty to fifty home runs. <laughs> but half of the time, if um with Milton Bradley, they still give him one more chance. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, they they got a blessing. Hey, what do you think about Barry Bonds in the Chicago Cubs uniform? <laughs> What'd you think? Okay, how about this? Put Barry Barr in a tutu. Oh, hey, hey, you're out of here, Bobby. Thanks for calling, man. I appreciate you. Let me go to Joe next. Joe, talk to me. Milton Bradley, Chicago Cubs, farewell. Bob, uh, uh, Joe, what's on your mind? Well, I tell you, uh, they're overpaid. <laughs> and if they can't do their job, they should just cut their pay down as they go down down the road. Yeah, I agree. It, that's, that's, that's all I, I said. Uh, my, uh, my niece lives out in Virginia. And for the Washington Nationals, they pay $5 a ticket to get in that ballpark. <laughs> but they pay a lot more in Wrigley Field. <laughs> you got that right. I, I, I used to live at 37-32 on Southport, right by the ballpark. Mm -hmm. And years ago, I used to go to the ball game every week. Yeah. Now, today's day, I can't even afford to go to the ball game twice a month. You know what, Joe? You know what's interesting? And I'm a Chicago Cubs fan. It's, I, I live closer to uh, Cellular. You know, I live closer to where the Sox play, but I'm a Chicago Cubs fan. Let me tell right. you this, though. I don't know why I am. They keep losing. I Joe, know. That's, that's the whole trouble. As long as everybody keeps paying to watch them lose, that, that price is going to stay there. You know what, Joe? It must be the pretty blue pinstripes. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's the vine. Maybe it's the basket. Maybe the rickets will bring victory to the Chicago Cubs. Joe, I appreciate you. Thanks for calling GML. Let me get one more phone call in. Matt. Thanks for calling GML. What's your comment? You know what, Gerard? Yes. First off, um, I'm a diehard Sox fan, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, I mean, I haven't liked the Cubs since Rhino days. Mm -hmm. But I do think that they're overpaid. And then, too, they don't give back enough. They don't do nothing in the community. Thank you. You know? Thank you. I mean, you got these guys, and they're making millions upon millions of dollars. But what are you doing? I mean, everybody doesn't need a Bentley, mm. you know? <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's my comment, Gerard. Hey, I appreciate your call. Thanks for calling Gerard McClendon live. You know what? We're going to go to break right now. You can always give me the call, though. Pro Sports, $10 million to play uh, 162 games, batting 257. Milton Bradley, farewell, goodbye. Aviter saying adieu. The GMLV line is next. Gerard McClendon live. Back in two. As you know, the Roseland community was giving a gentleman's club for employment opportunities. If we have such a problem with Mayor David, why do he keep becoming mayor? Can you answer me that question? It starts in the home. I don't think it's the police. 
that they're not doing their job, what could they do when they keep killing each other? They can't stop them. That's the choices they're making. Parents are so caught up in their own lives. This goes for women wanting love still as an adult, seeking it from men, forgetting about the love that their children are desiring. It takes someone such as myself, such as you, such as Messiah. We have to reach out. We cannot do it alone. It's not going to take the police officers. It's not going to take someone of a different culture. We have to help our own people. That's the Gerard McClendon Live V-Line. You can give me a call after the show. The GML V-Line, 773-883-3450. You got to give me a call after the show. I just gave you my digits, 773-883-3450. Let me take one more phone call, then I'm going to go to some more Facebook remarks. Let me go to Stephen. Thanks for calling GML. What's your comment, Stephen? My comment is, is that I blame uh, the management. I blame Lou Canella, first of all, for wanting a righty-lefty combination, letting Mark DeRosa go. Ooh. And I blame Jim Hendry for mindlessly listening to his manager and not being creative, like teams like the Minnesota Twins, who doesn't uh, act corporate stupid. Mm. Uh, I would personally get rid of uh, both of them and try to motivate Milton Bradley since we have to pay him $10 million anyway. Wow, Stephen, thanks for the call, man. We appreciate you. The verdict is almost in. Let me read a few more comments. Alicia says, yes, the athletes should be docked. Look around. It's the American way. Either that or get cut, uh, uh, get cut in pay and have no pay at all. It will happen to any other worker in the United States. Roxanne says athletes shouldn't receive reduced pay. Once a price is confirmed, it's confirmed. And Sterling says it's cool for fans to pay top dollar to go see an overpaid athlete that, that, don't, that does not perform. Uh, too bad I'm not an agent. You know, I'm not hating on Milton Bradley. I think that he deserves a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth chance. But you got a bat 310. The Cubs are hurting, and we wanted you to lead us to October, Mr. Bradley. But the sorry batting, batting average and the booing fans put ice on your fiery attitude and performance. Read the biography of Jackie Robinson and see how hard it really was, Milton Bradley. Call me after the show. Leave a comment. That's Gerard McClendon live for tonight. Stay positive. I need you to keep your head up and always be encouraged.